Viewer, 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 you came back at the right time. As it is a very weird time, perplexing time. I'm thinking about the anime called Puzzle of Monsters. It's one of the weirdest animes I've ever seen. It's one of the weirdest animes I will probably talk about. When we talk about, there's a lot of weird animes out there like Ojo's, Saki, and you know, all that other crap. But this one's especially weird. Weird in a way that's distressing. Weird in a way that makes me angry. Let's get the premise of the story out of the way first. It's a story about a girl named Kaho and how she falls in love with a guy named Kanade. She moves to a different city to go to high school and that's the, basically the plot of it. The given gag manga have more plot than this and all of the characters in this anime are shit. So you're probably thinking, hmm, it sounds like a normal enough anime. What's so weird about it? Um, let me tell you what's so weird about it. Kaho is 15 and Kanade is 10. And it's worse than it sounds. So it's a really, it's a criminal act to it. Anime treats it as a joke. It's like, hi, look at them, silly, goofy, so funny. Look at the guy, Kanade. He's supposed to be in fifth grade, he's 10 years old, but he looks like he's 21 or some shit. You know, people make fun of characters in Tokyo Revengers that they look like kids. Yeah, in front of him, they definitely look like kids. They definitely look like they're 10. The only way to describe this anime is that there is not a good person in this anime other than the four kids. Every arc introduces more weird characters, and in the first arc, we meet this guy with hair over his eyes and he's just a wimp I hate him so much like fuck him people think he's cute I, I don't think he's cute I think he's very weird just look at his face that is a weird ass face and uh, people make fun of him for being a virgin and I'm like wait let's let's Hanade and Kaho, if they're not a virgin, that would be a very big problem as their ages are 10 and 15. That's very worrisome, okay? So let's talk about the good characters first. Hanade is good himself. He He's very funny. The only reason this anime is brought down- Listen, if this anime was a slice of life that followed him, it would be funny. But no, it's for some reason it's a romance anime and I hate it. And then his friends, Tomo, Tom, whatever you want to call him, he's pretty cool, he's pretty funny, I really enjoy him. And then he has another friend whose name is Gin. I mean, Gin. No, I mean, Gin. Okay, so this is the third character voiced by Sugita, the guy who voices the Gin Toki from Gintama. So, okay, so it's like you took Gin Toki and Switch and mix them in and make it 10 years old, and this is what you get Genjiro. Like, he's the favorite. Like, whenever Sugita voices someone, that character basically becomes my favorite in an anime. And they have this poor friend. His name is Kazuo. And Kazuo looks like a normal 10 years old and fantastic finally something nice in this anime you know finally something normal no there's nothing normal in this anime so this guy kazuo he looks like this idol that's in this anime rendering and the i i really hate it and on top of that kazuo is very rich he has a butler and he calls his butler mutt and he has a nosebleed and starts chilling his pants and i'm like what the fuck is wrong with this anime what is going on this is just the surface it gets worse it gets so much worse kanade's dad is one of the side characters and he starts out as like this chill guy you really love him and there's this romance subplot involving him and there's this girl who's supposed to be kanade's tutor mafuyu and she She's lusting after his dad, and in one of the scenes, she, she goes into the laundry, steals his dad's undies, and eats them. And it, what the actual fuck? Why is this even a thing? Stealing his undies, like huffing them like it's some kind of drug, and then eating it. One of Kanade's cousins come over, he's like in sixth grade, he's like one year older than Kanade, and they do this competition in swimming where the winner gets to date Kaho and Kanade loses and Kaho gets he's like oh no I can't date Kaho anymore it she's yours big brother yeah, and big brother like, hell yeah boy and she gets angry at him and his 10 years old brain he made a promise to his cousin and he's keeping his promise and Kanade, Kaho gets angry she's like oh my god how dare you do this and like wishing that Kanade who's 10 years old knew what the concept of a mature relationship is even though he doesn't even know what a relationship is in actuality it's just so fucking crazy it's so weird it makes me angry i'm coping at seething right now if you can't see i'm so angry and so fucked up like wow <sighs> that out of the way she goes back home to her brother and they're rich and they own an estate or whatever and his her brother come back from america and when she goes home 
Anand is like, oh no, I gotta go back and get her because I love her, she's my girlfriend. And uh, he gets on bicycles with his friends and they all go to Kaho's house. And then, you know, in the middle while they're going, they're like, it's just a trip for them. It's just like a silly, goofy, fun thing for them because they're 10 years old. They don't really understand what's going on. And they're in cycles and shit and their cycles start breaking. And Kana, they doesn't give up. He's like, I gotta keep going. His friends stop, but they, he keeps going. And this Taga guy that uh, who was calling, I covered a guy, a virgin, and was being an asshole straight up to Kaho during the entirety of the show, pulls up in a rental car and takes Kanade to Kaho's house. While he's taking him to Kaho's place, he's like, oh my god, I'm so much in love with that nasty nasty girl you're a nasty woman aren't you he's doing saying shit like that it's supposed to be hot but it's it's not everybody is in love with kaho and it's so baffling to me like every guy around her who's not dating is in love with her like the guys with the bangs Hada, Hanade, and, and there we are introduced to kaho's brother who's a siscon i was gonna say lollicon but he's not really a lollicon he's like a siscon he saves bathwater like he was was doing anime girl bathwater before gamer girl bathwater was a thing he was packing up her water and saving it to sniff it later he was saving her chopsticks and licking them he was saving pump seeds and he's just such a creepy fucking piece of shit person Kanade, i think he did like the punishment or some shit for himself and Kanade was like oh my god he's so manly i gotta go back i'm in so much love with him <laughs> and they go back and it's it just never stops it never fucking stops i'm so so angry and there's this like a really weird episode where it's Kaho's dream world Kanade is now older and the Taga is now a teacher and they have this fight about a roller skating and the roller skating half naked they jump in air and start spinning and from their armpits comes like some kind of candy and their candies mix and it's really fucking weird and the final gag of the anime is Kanade is bit by a dog that looks kind of like a human and Kanade gets sad that oh no, Kana they gonna turn into a dog and it's just so weird and they just like laugh at it like ha 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 look at him it's such a silly goofy moment and that's where anime ends and it's so fucked up. Kaho gets called out on being a pedophile quite a bit times but every time it's played as a gag. The only thing funny about this anime if like if you take Kaho out of this anime and you play the scenes where it's all just the boys, uh, Kanade, Tomu and Gin, it's pretty funny. Their, their humor is pretty funny. They're talking about penis. It's kind of funny you know it's like 14 years old the humor the anime I enjoy it my humor sense of humor is like i'm 10 years old so it's working out for me and another good thing about this anime is the ending ending's pretty banger i really enjoyed the ending uh, the animation's pretty shit though if you watch it don't watch it for the animation don't watch for it for the romance watch it for some gags which are pretty funny another weird thing about this anime is sometimes they're playing a game like tag or shadow tag or whatever you want to call it right and when they're playing games like that a jojo s or a Baki-esque narrator comes on and starts explaining the game which is so jarring like what the fuck is going on the whole anime is jarring it's like the creator didn't really have a plan of what they really wanted to do so they're just meshing in whatever they can while this shitty story is going on and and this anime makes me angry I've not read the manga of it I don't know if I'm going to I don't think I will but if you want to check it out go check it out it's 12 episodes long it's not that long and you can skip over some of the parts it's, yeah, I hope you you won't have a good time with this anime. You will be laughing, but you will be having a bad time because the basic premise of this anime is like, look at this 15 year old girl, and she looks like she's 13, and look at this 10 year old boy that looks like he's 20. What happened if they start dating? Pedophilia. Pedophilia is the joke. It's not funny. The only thing funny about, as I said before, is not Kaho's and Kanada's relationship. It's the hijinks Kanada gets up to, and the Kaho can be completely removed from this anime, and it will only become better so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did subscribe and leave a comment down below of any weird enemies you have seen and that would be very nice of you to do i would really appreciate it and if you like what you saw and want more of it go watch my other videos and if you want to watch me play some video games come catch me on twitch from tuesdays to fridays and i will see you when i see you next toodaloo